Look at this. This is middle of August. 56 degrees. This is so weird. Normally, in my experience, August is one of the hottest months, and in September it cools off. And think back to when I started out. It was 50s, it was around 50s, mid-50s every day when I got up. Here I am, back to the 50s. But, uh, this is weird. I did not expect it to cool off like this. The weather is just, um, really off this year. So, need to get heat in that RV. I can I can tolerate this. This is okay. Anything above 55 is fine, but it's gonna get cold. I've got a welder's mask on because I have nothing else. Got my generator running. I like to drill. And I have to try to cut these hoses. It's quite a problem. It's awkward. This is not going easy. My Dremel died. My Sawzall doesn't work. I gotta try this. I gotta get the camera out of the way. And I broke my last cutoff wheel. This is really annoying. I have to get these pipes out of the way so I can lay the tile in the bathroom. I have nothing to cut these with. This is really... I guess I'm gonna get a file. Down to... Well, this is off the grid living. I guess I'm going to use old fashioned hand powered tools. That's it. <sighs> I've got a hacksaw blade in my hand. It's wreaking havoc on my fingers, but I don't have a hacksaw. So. Awkward. <sighs> Works better than anything else. Funny enough. There, one piece. Well, I don't want to wear out my battery, so I'll shut off my camera. Pieces of pipe tossed out, literally, all over the place. I uh, just fired up my generator. I was not using the generator. I was, as you can see here, by the edges on these pipes, I was twisting, torquing, and breaking them off. It was the only way. And of course I caused damage to... Oh, mosquitoes are hungry on me. I of course caused damage through some other pipes, so now I might have to replace even more, because I bent here, I've weakened this joint here. I can see it's uh, knocked off some copper. That's really frustrating, because that means I'm gonna have to replace even more pipe that I had originally attended. That's not good at all. That's going to cost me even more money. I had to cut these off to even break anything anywhere. I was able to use a uh, pipe cutter on these. 
because I didn't have enough flexibility to do anything in here, I cut these off. So now I have to replace the lines going to the sink. Uh, more pieces of pipe. Pieces of pipe. You can see where that one was blown. Nice hole in it. So I've got some copper. I think there was some more. Another piece of pipe. Look, I broke it off. It was the only way to get it out. More pipe. So I still have to, now I'm going to have to replace these, this whole section. And uh, I still have to cut up to here. I'm probably going to have to go, well obviously because I, I wrecked this line here, I'm probably going to have to go beyond here now, past this T. Because I think I weakened that junction there. Which is annoying. But I've got a worse problem I'll show you inside. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything here. Let's see if I get the light on here. There is some fresh chew marks right here. And I saw a mouse running down underneath the hot water heater. And he's pooping all over the place in here. It's disgusting. And so I got the generator fired up. I get the vacuum again. I love doing things again and again and again and again. So I'm going to vacuum. And uh, I also made a little bit of, a bit of a mess here in the corner. The water spilled out and there's filth all over the place and all this, well that's where the hose was. And I have to vacuum up inside there where all the uh, filth was underneath that board that I opened up. And then I'm going to start stuffing steel wool in all these holes temporarily until I can finish everything. Stop that mouse runway from all over the place. Because he's got free reign in the RV right now because I'm not finished remodeling. I didn't close it off. So he can come and go as he pleases. I don't know what to do. I have, I have Tomcat uh, poison. It was on sale, but really, I don't like the idea of dead bodies laying in here. I just don't know what to do because if I do that, it kills in 48 hours. Great, but then I have a dead mouse rotting somewhere, and I'm not guaranteed that I'll be able to reach it or find it. I'll just notice this horrible smell for three months. So. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous because I just drilled holes in my brand new beautiful wall. There's a frame right here in the middle. I want to come across here and there's a frame right here. So I want to stick right on the sides of that and cut a straight line. I have to use my Leatherman because nothing else works and nothing else will be neat enough. But I'll get it done. I want to cut out that cat hole and allow my cat inside and out access. She'll be able to come through all behind all the bathroom cabinets and the shower and uh, everything and that'll be her litter box hole right there not a commercial but it should be it's one of the best tools I own I do love my Leatherman oh. be careful in this corner so I don't rip it off the edge here I'll be really careful right there easy I need some holes here Cutting my beautiful wall. The crazy things people do for their animals.
thing cut. I love this tool. Oh. Uh. I got some more cleaning to do. This is some thin stuff. frame it in and pretty it up. I don't know what it'll do about that big round spot. That'll probably be covered by the toilet anyway. But now I'll, uh, I'll frame this in, put some wood around the trim there, around the edges of it. And there's a uh, cat litter box access. I gotta fire up my generator and do some more cleaning. And then I can get this floor here prepped for towels. Well, it took me two hours to get that piece of copper out of there and cut a cat hole. Actually, the cat hole might have been taking me about 15 20 minutes, but cutting that copper out took me the better part of two hours. That was a job. So now, I had to go out, measure, and cut this floor piece so I can start tiling. I finally found my big square. Finally. Now I have a workbench and a square. Now if I can start collecting some proper tools, I'll be alright. It was uh, an interesting project today using my Leatherman and uh, a hacksaw blade in my hand, but I got the job done that's all that matters so I'm going to start framing in this bathroom floor I decided especially since my friend uh, bailed on me at the last minute I hope I'm not making a mistake but you guys are gonna tell me after it's too late I'm gonna cut this in three pieces there's no way I'm doing this cuts like this in one piece without messing up I'm not an expert I'm gonna cut a piece from here right along to the bottom of this wall and across and then I can cut that angle out there I'm gonna cut a piece from here over a little ways out into here and then I'll cut another piece in the middle and uh, hope for the best because the floor here is pretty solid it doesn't give it doesn't flex or anything I'm thinking maybe I'll try to make it in two pieces but whatever for stability it might be better in two pieces but regardless I am not doing this in one cut this whole corner piece is coming out in one piece, in one cut, and then I can do that little angle. And then I'll try to do this in one cut. Let's see what I can do. Well, in this corner, the board was just a little bit, maybe half inch too short. But I think I might end up taking some of this 1x2 and putting trim. That'll stop the tile from breaking off in that corner. I might just glue a piece of wood down in that corner anyway uh, for strength on the tile. But I'm thinking about putting some trim along the edges of this board on the bottom all the way along. I think it would look nice. Um, I won't do that yet but give me your opinions people what you think having trim along all these bottom edges because for one thing this camper plywood stuff whatever you want to call it is garbage it is really thin and breaks easily 
and any loose edges rip up very easily. So I'm um, thinking about putting trim on these anyway, plus it would be a nice little kickboard for hitting it with your feet. But I'm open to opinions on that. I'm sure some kind of trim will have to be required to cover the um, edging on the tiles. So there it is so far. I got that one piece in. That was the easy part. That was really easy. Now comes the tough one. Really hope I do a good job. Well, I am happy. An hour of careful measuring and cutting and markings. Oh, wow. It worked. I really did it. All on my own. Maybe it's a good thing my friend didn't come. Now I have confidence for the future. Learning by doing. Now, I really didn't know what I was doing, so I didn't show you everything. But I'll tell you what I did. I measured from the wall out to here. And then I marked, as you can see, I marked this board across. Uh, right there. And then I measured the wall out to here. And then I marked the board across. And then I measured from the wall out to where it's going to meet this joint here. And I marked the board across. And I actually cut it here, all the way across. So then I had just this piece to work with. And what I did is I had this marked here, and then I measured from that point to the edge of the board here. Let me see if I can show you that. I measured from that corner out to the longest point here, and measured from here to here on this. So I had this marked off, and I knew that angle. Then I went in here, and I measured from here how, how wide it is and marked it off with a tape on the board right there. And then I took a straight edge and marked between those two lines right there. From that length I measured, I, I took the tape from here and marked it out, is why I forgot the uh, distance, but I put a mark right there. I measured from here, put a mark right there, drew a straight edge. There I had my angle. And I did the same here. I measured with a tape. Now I remember this one was my last cut. That was 25 inches from here to there, took a straight edge from that point, and drew my angle, and then just took my saw and cut it, and there it is. So I did it. And that's going to be my tile. That's the edge of the tiled floor in the bathroom. So I'm going to screw this down, and then I get to do all the angles again for my tiles. So um, I, uh, I'm going to probably start this yet tonight. It's 7 o'clock at night, so the video tonight will be pretty late. But... I'm going to start cutting my tiles, if nothing else, at least get my tiles cut tonight and uh, position down here. I've put a countersink hole with a large drill bit where each screw is going to be so that they sink down into the wood nicely. I just wanted to show you, this one sticks out a tiny bit. So they recess nicely into the wood. So I'm going to try to do this right. Now that I've started it, I'm going to do it right. Well, there it is. Nicely framed in. Ready for tiles. Screws are countersunk. Joints line up nicely. Should be okay. I've sweeped it again and again and again. With the humidity, I don't really want to mop because it would take days to dry. And uh, this was clean wood anyway. So I don't know if I have to actually mop or wet this or not. But I'm going to read the instructions on the glue. I still have to lay out the tiles first anyway, which I'm about to do now just to piece them out. It doesn't really show up well in the uh, evening, but just my little bit of light I have in here but I just laid it out to get an idea and it's definitely um, bathroomy with the white I think it's gonna be alright so I guess you take a torch to the back of these and soften them and then you um, can uh, use a carpet knife to cut them so I'm about to try to do that I'll piece these all out and lay them all down first make sure I have everything I know what I'm doing before I cut anything. 
So it looks like it'll work. I'm hoping I have enough left for the kitchen for sure. Well, I think I do. I just got to be sure about that. The kitchen area isn't very large. It's uh should be fine. I'll measure it out and count the tiles. These are 12 inch square tiles. Hopefully I've got enough. It's 20 after 8. I seriously want to get these tiles down tonight. But it's pitch black out. And um, i show you what I thought of to make this happen. It's coming along well. I've got one more large piece to cut. And then, I'm not sure if I should or not, but I'm going to put two little pieces in that little hole over there. I'm going to leave that gap for trim. This will be behind the toilet anyway. Uh, but I'm going to put some thin pieces down over here. It's about an inch wide, roughly. And then I'll have to put, maybe I'll angle a piece to go into there, into that corner. So, I'll show you what I've done. By the way, that mouse is in here, little bugger. I can hear him chewing underneath the shower right now. So he ran while I'm working all the way across in front of me. And I got that wide open back there. He ran, somehow he ran past me here, through here, all the way around, and he's under the shower chewing on something right now. So, I put out a bunch of that poison. I just put it everywhere. I'm tired of this. I just gotta kill him, and then search for his body later. I took my 10-watt uh, LED, hooked it up to my RV batteries, and it extends my working time out here. Which is good, because I'm definitely going to finish this uh, cutting at least tonight, if not gluing. Well, there it is. It's all laid out. I, um, I think it's like 9 o'clock now. Let me see. Yeah, it's quarter to 9. I haven't had dinner, so I'm quitting. I was hoping to glue this tonight, but no, it's not happening. But, tomorrow I'll do the other, I'll do the kitchen. And then I'll uh, glue these all down. And uh, in two days I can start sleeping in here. After the glue is set here, I can put down the carpeting. And, um, and that's it. I can start to sleep in here soon. Boy, the mosquitoes are moving in here in full force. Oh, I forgot I have the back hatch open. So, there it is. There's my new floor. All pieced together. Ready to glue tomorrow. That's it. Good night.